What? Okay, I don't trust the sound. Why do they look like they're broken? Hi guys, it's Lana here and I don't have any makeup on today because I had Dermapen yesterday and when you've had Dermapen, you're not allowed to wear makeup for a few days. I've just shampooed my hair, I've put some deep conditioner into it and guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna detangle my hair. And this is not like a detangling tutorial, although if you need one, I actually made the video, it's up there. It's like two years old, still works, still how I detangle my hair on a good day when I'm being good. Today is exciting for curly hair geeks all over the world. <laughs> In today's video, I am reviewing products. When was the last time I reviewed products? I've like experimented, with products, I've experimented with my hair, I've done hairstyles, but have I really cross compared, cross comparison, review, in depth, actual products? Not for a long time. So I went ahead and I got this. This is the Michael Mercier Detangling Hairbrush by Campaloop for thick hair. It's a patented design, patented, however you want to pronounce it. I don't know, somehow I ended up buying like the small version. This is like a kid's version. Anyway, I was super excited because I wanted to film a review, but you'll never guess what. The same day that this arrived, this also arrived. I literally think that Tangle Teaser, they knew. Like we have a strong connection. I've been using Tangle Teaser for years and years and years and years. Somehow they knew. They were like, she just bought a Michael Mercier brush. So they had sent this and it was, it was really, really cute to be fair. So this is like their new collection. They gave me a little bag. It's super cute and I love it. And it's gonna become my new hair bag. And of course they are detangling brushes. That's what Tangle Teaser do. They come with stickers. They're gonna be great for kids or if you just like accessorizing, like they, they cut like unicorn stickers and stuff, you know? I will stick these stickers on and I always love Tangle Teaser because it is British. I'm British. For all of you who think that I'm Australian, I'm not British. I'm gonna stick some of these on. And that way you'll know that this is the Tangle Teaser brush. Okay, this feels really light. Wasn't about to jump into the review just yet, but I just wanted to say that. I don't know how long I have to make this video because my baby nephew is downstairs. He's like a month old. He might wake up and cry. His mum's not here. He's with Nanny downstairs. His mum's out with her other little girl. He's been getting all jealous about the baby. So I like cacti. So I'm gonna put that on there. I don't know if I'm supposed to put it on the brush or if I'm supposed to put it somewhere else. Okay, well, I'll just put that one on the brush. So the one with the cacti is a uh, tangle teaser. And this tiny baby brush, I should have got a bigger one to be fair. I don't know. Oh, wow, this has blue bristles and it's literally like you can't see them when it's face on. Really weird and interesting. Okay, the detangling test starts now. Let me tell you the rules. I came up with them about five minutes ago in my head. Rule one is I can only use my right hand because that's the hand that I use. If I use my left hand, I'm probably not gonna be able to detangle as well, so that could skew the results. Rule number two is, if I'm working on one side and the other hair starts, the other side starts to dry out, I have to get it wet again, more conditioner again, you know, treat everybody fairly, give everybody the same chance. Rule number three is that they have to have the same conditioner on, because you know the conditioner can affect the results of detangling. Some conditioner is better at detangling than others. I know I trust this conditioner that I currently have on, it's a Shea Moisture. It's actually a deep conditioner, but hey ho, whatever and this is how we're gonna judge the result we're gonna time how long it takes to detangle my hair and we'll know it's detangled because I'll be able to run a brush through it without running into snags okay the second criteria is the amount of noise it makes like how noisy is it because I just have this feeling like when a detangler when a brush is noisy running through your hair I feel like it's you know running into a lot of snags and stuff number three is gonna be how easy is it to use and then if I have anything else that I want to say about it then I will we're doing the tangle teaser first let's see if this new wet detangling brush let's see how it performs timer is on now let's go so starting from the bottom as always you hear that I already kind of feel like I want to switch to the Michael Mercier to see how it performs, but we've got to finish this side. Damn, my hair is tangled lately. I had it in braids. I did a lot to my hair lately since the last time I washed it. I don't know why part of me feels like I've lost the ability to detangle my hair. Like, I know my hair is tangled, but I'm like, geez. This is really tangled. Oh. 
Still going. My hair is detangled and we are at seven minutes exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, seven minutes that took. And this is how much hair I lost. I decided this is gonna be another determining factor. This is how much hair I lost. I don't know. Seems like a normal amount if you ask me. If you ask me. Okay, now we are gonna use the Michael Mercier. I know, I think I accidentally got a kid's one, but if you think about it, I think this is a kid's one too. So they're kind of the same, same difference. I'm gonna start the timer right now and we're gonna go. What? Well, listen to this. It sounds like it's gonna break. Okay, I don't trust the sound. Why do they look like they're broken? Like on the you see that? The way it's drag dragging like that. Okay, okay. Making good progress. Still sounds like it's breaking though. do not like the sound that this makes. It sounds like so, it sounds like cheap plastic. It sounds like I'm trying to use a Barbie brush right now. What the heck? Look how all of the bristles are all just now like moving to one side. Like they're all bending out of place as they try to make their way through my hair. I feel like I'm having to rely on my hands a lot right now to make this work. Like this hand, like I'm basically, I'm almost finger detangling right now. Although, this technique works pretty well. It's the noise, the noise is really off-putting, really off-putting. But the brush itself seems to be doing an okay job. It's so weird, the brush sounds like it's breaking and it looks like it's breaking, but it seems to be working. It's bizarre. Oh. I'm so fed up with this. What is happening? Okay, watch me brush from the bottom up. Listen. We might have just did something. We might have just did something. Maybe not. Almost, almost there. Got a little bit to go just here. Come on. Okay, we're done. I mean, this is a whole mess, and that's how much hair I lost with that one. Pretty similar. My hand is seized. My hand is cramped. Like this one is better because it curves around. It makes it less likely that your hand is gonna slip off it because it's curved around it. Like it gives you a bit of grip. Like I've definitely used wet detanglers from Tangle Teaser that are better shaped so that they don't slip out of your hand. Like I always use the splash because it's like built in such a way that it's not gonna slip out of your hand. Whereas this one is like, all they're giving you is this, which is a little bit awkward, but it works well enough. 
like this one, right? I know it's a kid's one, but if you think, if the grown-up size one is just the same as this, then how is my hand supposed to not slip off of this, right? This is like the slippiest thing in the world. And it's just like, kind of, all, like, look how, look at the movement of this thing. Like, this is spinning around in my hand as I use it. Like, this is how slippery the thing is. You can't do with that with this, look. It doesn't move around. I'm trying to just like run this over my hand. Like you see how it started? Look, see how it ends. It spanned nearly the whole damn way around. That just makes it awkward to use and you end up getting a hand cramp. I mean, I like the brush. The bristles are very strong ish like i can feel them on my scalp and it kind of feels like i don't know if anybody else likes that feeling of a brush on their scalp like you can feel it on your scalp and it feels quite nice i mean you can feel this one too but it definitely feels softer but you know the bristles on this one are still standing the bristles on this one are all over the place like they went through my hair once and they look like they're about ready to go on sick leave like they're not i just don't see how this one is going to stand the test of time i like the way it goes through my hair i do well i like it now because my hair's detangled so i would like the way any Anything goes through my head. Ooh, did we just did we just encounter a tangle? I think all in all, I know you guys are gonna think I'm saying this because I use Tangle Teaser for so long, but you know, here's the thing. Tangle Teaser don't ever pay me to say anything. Tangle Teaser have never paid me in my life. If I want a brush, I can just go and buy a brush. Like I can go and buy the Michael Mercier brush. It don't matter to me, it's a brush. You know, it's not like gonna break the bank for a brush, okay? So I don't need to say anything about Tangle Teaser that I don't wanna say, but you know, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is, I mean, you guys saw, you guys can see this brush spinning around. It's the exorcist. I didn't tell it to turn that way. And I feel like the same thing would happen even with like the, the big size version, like the grown up version. This one, I'm using it in my left hand right now. Stayed in the same place. This one, I'm gripping onto it so hard, as hard as I can. And it still ends up this way. <sighs> I mean, it's an okay brush, but I just like the Tangle Teaser one. Surprise, surprise. Lana Summer went for Tangle Teaser once again. I know it wasn't that much of a shocker, but it's the truth. My hair is detangled, it's conditioned. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and I'm gonna go ahead and get on with my day. If this review was helpful to you at all, then please give this video a thumbs up. Also drop a comment in the comment section. Ask me anything else you wanna know about these brushes, anything else you wanna know about anything I will be hanging around for a few hours after this video uploads, literally just replying to you guys, like, that's my life. Like, when I upload a video, I'm like, reply, reply, reply to, like, every comment. Oh, my Instagram is at Lana Summer. So that's everything for this video. The links to the products are in the description box down below. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!